sketch the graph of this absolute value function, y equals the absolute value of x plus 1. Before we get started, it will just talk a little bit about the absolute value. And what does that mean? Well, the absolute value of a number is just the numerical value of that number without the signal. So let's say that I have, if I'm looking for the absolute value of negative 3, and that's what the lines mean here, that we're looking for the absolute value of negative 3, that's just positive 3. Just 3. If we were looking for the absolute value of, say, 4, for example, that would be just, whoops, that turned ugly. Okay. Yeah, so the absolute value of 4 is just actually 4. Because we don't have a signal already, right? So, yeah, that's just positive 4. So if we're looking for the absolute value of a positive number, it just remains positive. But the absolute value of a negative number becomes positive. What about 0? The absolute value of 0 is just 0. So that's it. If we have a negative number inside the absolute value, it turns positive. If it's positive, it stays positive. If it's 0, it remains 0. That's it. So how can we graph this? I'm going to start by just graphing y equals x plus 1, and then explain I will explain what happens to the absolute value of that function. So right here we have a y-intercept of 1, right? Because y equals mx plus b, b is 1. And our slope here is 1, so we go over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, and so on. So let me just quickly draw a line here. And that's it. Okay, so what happens to the absolute value? As I explained before, all the negative values inside the absolute value become positive. So whenever y is negative, which is this whole section here, and I'll just highlight this in blue, this whole section here is going to become positive. So what will happen is that it's going to, it's going to get reflected upward. So for example, if we had negative 3, right, this is y equals negative 3, it will become positive 3. If I had negative 2, it would become positive 2, and so on. So let's just sketch the graph over here. That's it. However, this part of the graph will just remain. And why is that? Because whatever is positive remains positive. So we'll just Draw the line just up, up here, right? And it's actually, it's not supposed to be just on top. It's just right over it, because it's actually the same line. But it don't... Yeah, well, okay. I hope you guys get the picture. <laughs> I bet you do. So yes, this is the absolute value of x plus 1. And the red graph, which is just the straight line, would be, of course, just the graph of y equals x plus 1. That's it.